Hi, it's Rooney. And this is SteamWorld Quest, Hand of Gilgamech. I think we're going to do a playthrough of this one. I played the other SteamWorld games. SteamWorld Heist and the two digs. And I dug them. I dug I dug them very much. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, let's, let's do night. Time to get ready for bed, son. Oh, Dad, tell me a story first, please. Oh? You want to hear another tall tale from the high seas, do you? No, not another pirate story. I want to hear about dragons and knights in shining armor. Dragons, you say? Well, then we have to go way back to the age of heroes. When our world was still young and innocent, the gods grew born and forged a heart of evil and placed it in the chest of a behemoth. A true hero was called upon, and by his hand, the corrupted heart of the monster was torn out and buried where it could do no harm. Over the years, his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Instead, heroes of fortune spread across the land like a shadow. But there was still light to be found. Our story begins with two such lights. Two friends strolling through the forest in search of a mushroom. Chapter One. The Knight and the Alchemist. One of my favorite things to do in the woods, searching for mushrooms. You know what I mean. Chanterelles. You know, chicken of the woods. As if sent on a mission by the ancient gods, our heroes cut their way through the Green Finger Grove. The smell of hazard and fungus hit them as they searched for the fabled Pebble Mint Puffer. Will you stop narrating everything? Chapter 3 of the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot. That fully illustrated book of yours is a pun, pun riddled, written cringe fest. Hey, don't diss the book. And by the way, when are we eating? We should have taken Galileo up on breakfast offer before we left. He didn't invite us for breakfast. He said he'd rather eat slowly gathering dust in his basement before joining our mushroom hunt. And this mushroom we're hunting is important enough for you to literally pull me out of bed. You can't do real alchemy from the comfort of a bed. A few of the professors at the college actually tried that. But the rest of them shriveled up over their research in a musty, sub subforsaken labs. Sunforsaken. There was one professor, though, who really inspired me. She underlined the importance of actually going out into the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many. Today's deployment is about finding the medicinal peppermint puffer. Not only is it anti-hypersensitive, hepoprotective, hepatoprotective, and nephroprotective, it can also... Mm, you're setting me in the mood for a stew. We are not making a stew. Look, let's just get going. I know you get restless, so why don't you take the lead for a while? Okay, click to move. 
Looks like we're going left and right. Many objects in the world, such as the mushroom patch ahead, can be interacted with. Move near the mushrooms and use the controls shown below. Or click on them with the mouse to look at them. Okay. Hey, that was easy. Time enough to get these cooked up before the rooster crows. Unfortunately, these are common brushwood amanitas. We're after Peppermint and Puffer, remember? Dang. Also, they're poisonous, so don't eat them. Double dang. Money. The wasp also controls. Oh, actually, wasp is much nicer. More of those pompous posers from the village. Wait a minute. I knew the guild had some flimsy hangarounds, but you're practically ratting around in that bulky armor. Did you just call me scrawny? Well, whoa, easy now, I didn't say. This armor fits perfectly! Here we go. Okay, punch card battles. Battles are fought using punch cards. Oh, cool. Because they're robots. I get it. Early computers uh, use punch cards in a row. Fed into a machine, if you didn't know. Uh, each turn, you'll draw up to six cards. These cards represent abilities your heroes can use. You can choose up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up at the top of the screen. When you're happy with the cards you've selected, go finish turn. So enter to play a card and escape to take back a card. If you prefer, you can also select cards and targets by clicking on them with your mouse or right-clicking to cancel. A few alternate options for interacting with your cards will be available by hovering over them in your hand, too. Yeah, right-click to cancel. Okay. That seems like a standard. What do we got here? <clears throat> so this heals. Okay. Book Bash does damage, heroic strikes, and a mana barrier. What does it do? A damage shield. Okay, so three cards, eh? Well, why don't we try to get in there? On these coglins. Let's go bam bam. And maybe I'll mana barrier her? Oh, those are both crits, I think. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, strikes, upgrades, and skills. Your heroes can play three kinds of cards. A strike, an upgrade, and a skill. Got it. Strike cards are just what they sound like. Basic all complicated attacks that deal damage to your enemies. Upgrade cards and power your heroes temporarily in some way. Uh, as your heroes use strike and upgrade cards, they build up on steam pressure. They can be spent to play powerful skill cards. That's cool. Like these. Let's say we do have three. Alright. Uh, all foes, 170% versus... One foe, three times. Wow, okay. Alright, let's torch him. We've got three steam pressure. Yes. Bravado on our melee. Didn't realize that one might be female presenting. Got one left. Good fire pillar. Uh, let's fire pillar this guy. Yeah, do it. Really should have finished one of them. Okay, so each strike or upgrade card generates one SP. Your heroes have a shared pool of SP. Skill cards are very versatile and powerful. 
but if you don't have, have enough SP to play them, you can't play them at all. Manage your pool wisely. Right, so let's uh, let's get a finish off here. Book bash this guy, and then uh, just in case he misses, I don't know if he can miss. Doesn't look like it. For the finish. Okay, neat. Got some experience, got some gold, and some trashium scrap. Oh nice, so they're gonna be gems, I assume, like the like the dig games if you've played those. <coughs> Easy as mushroom pie. Mmm, pie. We've clearly stepped into the Coglin turf here. Let's just try to get out in one piece, okay? You think there's more of them? <laughs> awesome! It's like hurting a small tornado. Nope. Our heroes chanced upon a relic, a testament to the glorious battles of past, and some long forgotten treasure. More likely Coglin loot stolen away from unwary travelers. The hero's handbook declares, after beating up ruffians fair and square, the champion deserves a proper reward. Two repair vial, I assume like healing potions, recovery items, can be used to heal your heroes or cure status conditions. They are a good way of dealing with challenges that you can't solve with cards alone, but supplies are limited. You can find recovery items in chests by defeating enemies or by buying them from merchants. Use recovery items outside of combat by going into the items menu and selecting the recovery item. Items menu, okay. Your hero are automatically revived or cured of negative status conditions at the end of each battle, so some items can't be used this way. Use recovery items in battle by going to the battle menu and selecting re recovery items. These items can be Use this way to count as a playing card for the turn, so think carefully about the right time to use them. Go to open battle menu. Oh, and there's a map. Neat. Okay. I'm pressing O. More of those pint-sized troublemakers. Let's ambush them. The Hero's Handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this. There's two whole pages with diagrams on how to start a Lacoglin. And... We sneak up behind them, strike first, and gain the upper hand. You realize that regardless from which direction you come waving a sword, anyone will... you will still start with them. Whoa, so you say the method works great on anybody? This book is great. Uh, okay, preemptive strike. Beware of foes engage you. If they see you, gain an upper hand by pressing the indicated button. So in this case, enter. When you're close enough to attempt a preemptive strike, this will cause your foes to begin battle already wounded. Cool. Seem like I got a free hit there. Uh, you can redraw cards in your hand up to two times each turn. Redrawing card card means that the selected card will be discarded and replaced by a new card from your deck. Hold R to redraw. Discarded cards will eventually make their way back to your hand, so don't hesitate to use redraw often to get rid of unplayable cards. And remember, if neither play nor redraw anything, your hand will not change. Okay, got it. So, for example, bravado. I'm, I am hurt. Oh well, why don't we use that? Yeah. Huh. 
Ah, cool, okay. Does this actually heal? No, but a damage shield, so yeah, use that on yourself. And then, oh, wait a minute. What does this do? A lot of damage to one foe, so yeah, line that guy up. Do it. Mostly ate the shield, which is good. That should finish that guy. Does this do anything extra? Physical damage versus... So yeah, that one. I wonder if I if this goes away after. This should finish him. That'll do. Almost to that level two. More scrap, more gold. Two ways to go. Oh, a sword. No? Can't interact with that? Can't really get. Interesting. Alright, I'll go down first. Look, oh, Copernica. 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 Even the Coglins have raised statues over of Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. The majestic pose, the pride of a great deed oozing from every cut of the chisel. Uh, those statues are literally everywhere. Of course they are. Gilgamesh saved our kingdom from certain doom. He defeated a huge snarling behemoth, tore out its evil heart with his bare hands, and... And you can relive that very moment in your hero's coloring book. <laughs> Leaf Coglins don't appreciate the heroes of the past. Unlikely. They seem to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. These artful majestic homages to the ancient hero serve as a good place to sit down for a while so you can save your progress. Interact and restore your hero's health, however, be aware that it'll also respawn all nearby enemies. Interesting. Hmm. Might as well. I always wonder if there's something going to be like hiding in the edges. Wait, can it be? The peppermint buffer. It's even more majestic than I could imagine. Success smells like peppermint. It will be like eating breakfast, dessert, and brushing your teeth at the same time. We're not going to... You know what? Let's just grab it and get out of here. Just like grinding gears of endless time, our heroes halted to catch their breath. With their peppermint perfume prize in hand, they readied their swords. Hands off! This peppermint puffer will clean out the mold from the funnel in the old well. We're helping the entire village. Need to dry it one whole piece to extract all. Whoa, do you hear that? I can't help it, this sweet, crisp scent makes me hungry by the second. 
I don't think that was your belly. Whoa, hello. Oh, darn. Whoa, I know that you're going to say, but imagine how much stew we could... <laughs> Gomphus. Eek! My mushrooms! Who dare steals Gomphus's beautiful mushrooms? Easy there, Chief. We're just here to pick some of these. Unsuspecting innocent mushrooms, ravagers! I'm not a ravager, I'm an alchemist. Gomphus doesn't care. Gomphus will teach you not to plunder nature. Wow, machines versus nature. Okay. Damage. Awesome. Awesome musical cue, by the way. <laughs> damage comes in five elements physical, fire, frost, storm, and arcane. A card's damage type is shown on the card. Some enemies have natural resistance or weakness to certain elements, and some cards can raise and lower elemental defense. Use the right element to maximize your damage. That makes sense to me. Do we know what he's weak to? So, let's get in there with a heroic strike. Uh, let's fire pillow that guy. Oh no, that eats one? Hang on. Then, um... No, let's fire pillar. Yep. And then, another heroic strike, maybe. Get in there. We're doing less damage to him. It does not like fire. Okay. Wow, 12 per turn is a lot. Okay, some cards inflict status conditions and negative effects that linger on the target for several turns. Poison, they take damage at the end of each turn. Fortunately, most conditions go away on their own after a few turns. So what if we went like mana barrier, bravado, what is this one compared to the other one? So just 170, but this one's times 3, 80% times 3. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay. Poison's still happening. So that's what's up. One for you. It's gonna cost me two. Okay, this one heals six and does what? Strength. Yeah, cool. We should actually start with that. So let's go. Bravado. Buster. Rocket soundtrack. Wow, that's a big hit. Okay. We're gonna have to protect her. It looks like the shield or the barrier also takes the poison damage, so that's pretty awesome. Got two. That's a uh, rogue strike, flame wave. And give him a bash, I guess. Oh, I know he's calling for backup. Bad news, bad news. Okay. Let's just down this dude machine. Oh, that should kill one of those cards. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen. 46, that's not bad. No crit, so he's still alive. Two damage? I think I can handle that. Alright, let's go... Fire Pillar. You can only use that on... Alright. Hang on, take this 
when I just go bash. No, I can't. So yeah, okay. That was that was awesome. 45 there. Oh, I should have put that little guy. I forgot. He's only doing two damage. Okay, and a barrier on you. That's awesome. Let's do that. And then, uh, half health. I think should probably do this. That's us, the little guy. Wow, that power punch is even more damage. Okay, how many we got? We only have one. Let's go fire pillar. Uh, I can't heal her with bravado. Which is really unfortunate. I needed. Does this one heal at all? It is not. Alright, definitely put another mana barrier on her. Let's bust through that. I can heal her. That's, that's not going to help right now. That will, though. Yeah, let's go off this, this guy. This guy's only do, little guy's only do two damage. If that's the case, I'm not that worried. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's not do that. No, let's do that. Can't do it, eh? punch one of these little guys. That girl's not gonna crit. Yow. She can't take another one of those. I wonder if you can stack those mana barriers because that would be awesome. Went on the fence last time, let's go on the offensive. I mean, we're working him. Ah, that's really bad. Oh, that's really, really, really bad. That's really bad. Okay. So, let's do that. Then we can do this. And that. That should finish him. Just barely. Don't die of poison. Yeah. Okay. Uh, level up was needed, man. <laughs> She's going to need that health. Ooh, two level ups. Nice. Scroll fragments, repair vial. That's awesome. I forgot I had those. Lustrous fiber. A hundred bucks. Ha! Didn't even break a sweat. I'll be accepted into the guild in no time. I let you tag along in the forest and you turn it into a frickin' fight club? Hey, you wanted to experience nature hands-on, right? 
I say we stuff our bags full of mushroom and get back to the village. The things I do for learning. Alright, Chapter 1, The Night and the Alchemist. After a refreshing stroll in the forest, our unsuspecting companions make their way home to the village of Goose Bucket. All in good time for some healthy stew.